So I've watched the first few episodes and it occurred to me if you take away the gun scenes and the exploding heads, it's actually really sad. It's got a really sad story to it. Um, did you feel constrained by previous material? Um, so the comic book and the previous and the film. Um, did you want to do something different in tone? Um, no, I mean, I you know, the main driver for me was obviously John had already played the character in Daredevil season two. And, and that's sort of what, you know, made me want to do it. I thought what they did there was great. So that was, it was sort of continuing the line of the character from there. That was the main thing. And then, you know, I read a lot of the comic books and things, but, you know, in the end, you have to find your own version of the character and, and, and make it your own. So, you know, having digested a lot of that stuff, and I'm a huge fan of it, we sort of put it to one side and just made our own version. Okay, and there are some really intense fight scenes in this. Did you have to learn how to use guns or do martial arts lessons? What kind of training did you have to go through? Yeah, you know, case by case, but yeah, weapons training and 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 and, and fight training. Yeah, it's all it's all definitely part of it. And and uh, you know, it's um, it's 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 an it's a, it's a great thing about my line of work. Yeah, you get to get to te get 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 to learn from 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 great people who know what they're doing. Okay. And obviously uh, you wrote Hannibal, the successful TV series. Um, so my question to you both is who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, Hannibal or The Punisher? <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> if, if Frank saw him coming, uh, I think Frank would uh, kick his ass. Yeah. But, you know, the nature of Hannibal was the chances are he'd have probably cut your throat before you knew he was there. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, nice. if it was a fair fight, I'd go for Frank, but yeah. Hannibal never fought fair. So. <laughs> Um, so, John, you often get cast as the tough guy. Mm. Um, has this changed how people view you? Do people get scared of you in the street? Well, my kids aren't scared. I wish I wish they would they would be a little more scared. <laughs> you know? uh, but no, look, I I, I um, I'm just try. I, I I'm attracted to the best material and the best best people that are available to me all the time. And and uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm very nice. Uh, you know, soft guy, man. I'm not. You know. I'm sure you are. I wasn't yeah. insinuating that you're no, not. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, so, do you see him as um, a damaged man or as a hero? He's definitely a damaged man. I think. I mean, I think, um, and that was part of what we were trying to do in a way. Was just, you know, he's a problematic character. I mean, I think. I think he's complicated, and I think you know we. We talked a lot about we we shouldn't be scared to let him lose the audience at times. You know, we don't want people to always agree with what he's doing, but that hopefully they respond. You know, hopefully there's a humanity at the heart of him that also, always makes them ultimately understand and and you know, come back to him, come back to him. You know, but we certainly don't want them to agree with him all the time. I think yeah. um, we just want them to empathize. Yeah, never never been a goal of mine to make him make him too heroic or to lionize him. You know, I, I think he's. Uh, He's um, he's constantly questioning his own actions, and 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 shame and guilt and 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 pain are always with him, you know. And uh, it's it's one of the things that that I, I I I it's one of the real joys in playing him. I read that you stayed in character um, a lot. Do you usually do that for roles? It just depends. Depends on the part and depends on what we're doing. You you know, it's it's not. Uh, someone else asked me about it earlier. You know, it's it's not. Like I'm, I'm having people call me Frank and and uh, you know off off camera or anything like that. I think it's just a general. Uh, I prefer to uh, not be too far away from him, you know. So it's not such a huge jump once we start. But you know, you you know, with with Frank this year, there's a lot. There's there's many other sides of him. There's there's, you know, we're with him a lot more, and 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 there's a lighter side that's explored, and and uh, he is, uh, you, you know, a lot of the. The holes in the wall that he's built around himself. Uh, there, there's, there's, you know, light starts to shine through, and he starts to care about other people. And, uh, you know, for those scenes, you, you know, I, I don't need to be all, you know, isolated and, and, and in darkness. But I always want to keep it pretty close by. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.